In this video, I'll be showing you how to remove unwanted or blank pages on Microsoft Word. So in another video I made on a different channel, I showed you how to insert specific page numbers for different pages on Microsoft Word. And I received a lot of comments where people faced it difficult to remove the unwanted page that is created because of a section break. And in this video, I'll be showing you three major reasons which basically causes this unwanted or blank page issue in Microsoft Word. So starting off with the most common one that is in the end of the document, you usually come across a blank page. And this is very easy to remove. Just click on the very end of the document and that should take your cursor to the end of the content. So you basically don't see any content here, but these are actually spaces or new line that is created because of an enter key. So all you got to do is just click on backspace multiple times until you remove all these spaces. So, and there you go. The fifth page here is gone. So that leaves us with four pages here. And now moving on to the second one, which is usually caused due to a page break. So let's say you want the content from here to start from the page number two. You can click here and use enter key multiple times, but that's not the right way to do it. You go to insert and press the page break. So that will insert a page break here that will lead the content from here to start on the next page. And this is very easy to remove. You just click here on the beginning of the screen and use a backspace. But before that, let me just show you what is being inserted here. So you go to home and click on this button which says show or hide formatting markers. So as soon as you click on that, you'll be able to see some invisible markers which are actually used for formatting. So if you see here a page break or uh, marker is being applied. So you just need to delete this. So you can actually delete this here like this or you can actually hide it and also do it. So let's say it's hidden and now we want to delete it. You just click on the very beginning of the screen here, press the backspace button. So I hit it thrice and there you go, it's gone. And let's say a blank page is created because of a page break. So if I go to insert and I click on page break twice, you can see that a blank page is being created. That is the page number two. And if you want to remove this, it is the same thing. Just click on the very beginning of the content of that page here and click on backspace multiple times until you reach the screen you want the content to be at. So I click multiple times here and there you go. We have reached here, removing the blank space in between. And the third one is the most confusing one which people face it difficult to get rid of. And that is caused due to a section break, which is usually used while formatting page numbers and all. To insert that, you go to layout and click on breaks and you press a next page break. So if I use the usual method of backspace or delete, so I click on the very beginning of the screen. I click on delete or backspace. And if you see the content is getting deleted instead of the space in between this. So let me just click again. I click here, I use delete. And if you notice the content is getting deleted, we don't want that to happen. So what you'll do is just click on the very beginning of the screen and press on shift and the left arrow key. So basically an invisible marker is being selected here. I don't know if that's a bug or anything but an invisible marker got selected. All you got to do is click on delete and there you go, it's gone. So usually sometimes when you insert a section page, so let me just insert in once again. And now if you go ahead and show the markers, you don't see that here. That is maybe because of a bug or something, I'm not very sure. But if you click on the very beginning of the screen here and use shift left arrow key that gets selected, all you got to do is press on delete and it just goes. But in some cases, when you insert a section break, it gets showed in this markers. So let's try it here. So I use a section break and I give an enter key here. And now if I go to home and press the show hide formatting markers, you can see that here you have a section page break. And this usually doesn't get selected with a normal click or drag. So if you can see, I can't select it. So that is why you click here and you use a shift left arrow key to select it. So there you go, it's selected. And now you do a delete, it just deletes that. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you found it helpful and thanks for watching.